Hello and welcome to USF 2000 at Laguna Seca. This is a uh, this is gonna be a pretty fun one, I think. Really like the USF 2000. Don't cross the line. I really like this track, and uh, I've been having fun learning how they work together. Now that said, there's a good chance I crash at some point, as I uh, I tend to do in this car, unfortunately. Very easy to have it just snap at some point, but that's alright. I'm gonna do my best. And, uh, obviously I'm gonna try not to spin out, or crash, or do anything crazy. And, uh, maybe have ourselves a nice finish here today, but we'll see. For now, I'll just enjoy racing. <laughs> Got the famous corkscrew here. Quite challenging in this car. Took me a couple tries to figure it out. And obviously, I could still go through it faster, to be fair, but... Ooh! Got a little bit too inside there. I think I hit that turtle just green, a bit. Green, green. Hopefully get a nice run to the line, okay, and let's start our first lap that black. counts. I break a little earlier than I'm probably most people do into most of these corners, but I also use less pressure and kind of just ease into the corners a little bit more. Ooh, that was... Awkward. I didn't do that quite right. So, probably not going to back up my best time here. This thing obviously gets easier to drive as the fuel burns off and gets a little bit faster. But I think I should. <laughs> I should be doing a little bit better than a second off of my all-time optimal. But maybe not. Ooh, almost went off track a little bit there. Still cutting a little bit too far inside. Alright, not my best lap for sure. Hopefully I could push a little bit more this time around. Alright, decent turn one. A little less awkward there. That wasn't quite all that fast either, unfortunately. A nice run through that section. I definitely think I could push this turn a little bit harder than I have in the past. Almost cut it a little bit too close on the inside, that was pretty close. Probably push the corkscrew a little bit, but that's pretty scary. I <laughs> don't know if I even want to mess with that. And coming off the final corner. A little bit better, but still about a second off my optimal. I just, it requires bravery to really drive this thing fast and. Once I get into qualifying, I get the nervous hands. <laughs> yeah. Tried to push it a little bit farther there and almost died. So. That's okay. 123.5. It's the front time. Okay. My best is a 123.9. So theoretically, I could get up there. It's just... 
I guess not though, because that's the time I got when the tires were a little bit more warmed up and the car a little bit lighter. In front of a, a couple people though. Pretty average lap time maybe for what we've got in this split. Decent number of people signed up though, I guess, because Laguna Seca is a free track and uh, it's a decent time of day. I moved my brake bias back a bit to help prevent lockups. Just waiting on the 10 here. Don't know if they're actually doing laps. Apparently they are because they have 8x. I'm not sure. They're apparently not trying anymore because we've got inactivity going. The end of the session, oh, there we go. Hey, nice. Let's get this thing started. Pretty middle of the road, it looks like, on time. And a big part of it's going to be just staying on the track, so... Got to make sure I'm doing that, too. But... I will not be surprised if I find myself somewhere I'm not supposed to be at some point in this race. Just hope I don't take anyone else out with me if I do make a mistake. That's what I care about most. If I wreck myself, then, well, shucks. <laughs> but if I run into someone else, then I'm just going to feel bad for the rest of the day. But everyone seems ready to go here. Um, even the 10, we were waiting on there for a second. They readied up before it even uh, counted down from the inactivity. And it looks like just about everybody's in. We got uh, 10 people in here, is it, in total? I believe so. Nice. And we're waiting on the 8, and that's it. That back where it's supposed to go. Get this thing started. I'm a little bit scared of how the corkscrew's gonna go. I hope everybody knows to give plenty of room. That's gonna be interesting. Maybe it would have been smart to start at the back. Just to survive the first couple of laps. We're gonna find out. Anyone's trying to go side by side with me just about anywhere though, I am gonna let them by. No questions asked. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. First, we gotta survive the pace lap. You'll need to get on with this. Don't forget. So, follow car number that zero. Fun Three. challenge as well. That's a green in front of us, and it's not the grass. I can tell you that. Get the free car. Catch up to car number zero three. Yeah, the pace car's hauling. This car's going for a best lap time. Trying to beat their optimal lap. <laughs> Definitely gonna want a second gear start. It looks like. Got some dust on our windshield, or our visor, I guess. We don't have a windshield in this thing. My mind's stuck in the stock car I'm usually in. One of several turns we should not go too wide through during the race. Can you guess what the next one is? <laughs> That's right, the famous Bubba Burger turn. That's what everyone calls it. I'm not even going too wide through here. Pace lap. Catch the three car. We need to catch car number zero three. <laughs> Being extra careful. All right. Too much longer now. Get ready, going green. Okay, mate, I wonder when they're going to decide to launch. 
Probably real soon, right? Yep. Maybe first gear would have been the thing, but I don't know, I'm fine. Just being patient off the start here. Mistakes. Oh my lord, what was that? Go left. There's an incident in. Uh that was like a late block attempt that got that guy wrecked or something. That was weird. That's not ideal for him. Thankfully we will be entering the corkscrew with plenty of room. Alright. <laughs> Maybe we'll get ourselves a nice finish just by surviving. Does that sound nice? I think that sounds nice. And we have successfully survived not only the pace lap, but lap one. Round of applause. All right, hooray. It's for number to shift. Did. Now I have to be fast. No one said anything about that. Where was that in the contract? Is that a fine print? I have to be fast when I race here? Man, I'm telling you what. Gotta read that fine print. Here I thought all I had to do was just drive around the track. Now you're telling me I have to be fast. Seems like we're uh, getting away from the guy behind, though. That's cool. Time to survive the corkscrew once more. Hopefully. Definitely going through there pretty pensive. Is that the right word? Cautiously. That's what I'm trying to say. And final corner. Feels like we get around this place so quick in these cars. I used to like the Mazda and stuff. Hopefully we are past this lap car before they get out. Car on your left, still there. Clear. Car on your left. Clear on the left. We are not fantastic. They're the three though, so they should be pretty fast. Maybe we'll just use their draft and catch up a little bit. Maybe they'll be faster than us. That'd be pretty nifty. Looks like that might be the case. All right. Hooray lap cars. How often do you get to hear that? Actually, lap car helped me just the last race I did at Knoxville in the trucks. It was Nick. He was the lap car. He helped me learn how to be faster. Slow car ahead. Uh-oh. Where? Oh, I could not see him, so I had to be very careful. See how he wreck that guy because he blames him for their incident? So that looked like he was right up on him. That is the same guy, right? I think so. Interesting. That's a new fastest lap for Prodham, 123.6. P3, that lap was at 125.6. Locking it up! Guys in front, I didn't lock it up. I, was, I did mess up a little bit though, because I was kind of worried about where I needed to be in case they crashed. It's like the three's pressuring the five on purpose, or something. I don't know. A 
a little bit wide there. the car a little bit more now. Still gotta find the right balance though. So I don't wreck myself. Seems like I take a wider entry there compared to the guy in front, but I kind of prefer to do that. It makes it less likely to feel like it's gonna spin on exit. So I'm gonna keep doing it that way. Your last lap time was at 125.2. Thought the fire was gonna spin. He did. Alrighty then. We are now in silver medal territory. But we do have the seven back there who hasn't gone away. They've actually been climbing forward a bit, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. Definitely don't think we're catching that too. They seem pretty darn fast, so. Uh, cut in too early there. It's gonna ruin my run up the hill. The gap behind has now decreased to 0 0.8. hit that turtle. Don't want to do that. That'll probably KO my car if I do that. So I freeze drive no way. I don't think he's so interested in guiding me with uh, his draft forever. So it was a nice while it lasted. Cut that pretty close on the inside there that almost got me loose. That's half distance. The fuel's okay. Woo! Get out of there. Sure would be funny if the leader wrecked and got me the win. Considering he definitely doesn't even need to be pushing hard right now. That's the thing though, these cars are difficult and they can kill you at any moment, so... Can't really rule anything out. Especially when you got corkscrews in the road. Wheel back on the desk. It's kind of a bad final corner. Feeling good though. I like being P2. And not wrecked. Yet. I feel like I can push harder so often, but as soon as I try, I know I risk putting myself in danger, so I'm not going to drive over my head. Just going to hit my marks. Just try, try to bring this thing home. Still turning in a little early there. smoke there. I guess the guy in front just probably locked up the tires. Thought for a second he might have spun. That kind of scared me for a moment, but it's not the case. Still didn't do that final corner too great, but 
five minutes to go. Come on. So you bad. On the podium here. You've just done a 124.8. We think P5 has binned it in turn 11. You five has binned it. I'll do that. Bennett. P5. The gap behind is now 1.3 seconds. Alright. This is a little bit harder in this corner. Just a bit. Didn't underdrive that quite so badly that time. Or cut in too early. DC corkscrew. In the rhythm a little bit more. Feels nice. Leader's still pulling away though. They've clearly got another gear. P2, that's your best lap in the session. Bit wide. Not too bad though. Under driving that. Whoa, almost overdrove that, but it was actually kind of fast. I could push harder now that the car is in better racing condition. It's just scary because you don't know, you know. Is this a part of the track I can push it more, or am I gonna crash myself if I try to do anything? Incident in turn 10. I saw smoke again, I heard incident in turn 10, I'm like, is the corkscrew turn 10? <laughs> I'm not counting the turns. Are you counting the turns? I'm not counting the turns. I got other things to do. I'm sorry I didn't memorize which turn is turn 10, but... I actually caught up to the leader a little bit. They must have made some sort of mistake. Oh, interesting. Drove that a little bit again. I keep overdriving that now. I don't know why. Try to push it a little bit through there this time since I've been under driving that. Use the whole track. Still under driving that a little bit. Awkward there. Turning into it twice. Very good corkscrew there, very happy with that. Hey, that was pretty darn fast. White flag this time. White flag. Alright, that means I just gotta survive one more lap. Got two seconds behind us. Leader's got this one. He's probably coming to the checker flag right now. <laughs> Not really, but he is pretty far ahead. Ah, uh, you gotta do that to me, huh? Lap car, you gotta make me think that was the leader. My heart skipped a beat. I thought. Just a moment. I thought. But it was not to be. We remain second place. Car ahead. Car on the right. I guess we each other ahead of us. Why did that happen? 
Don't lose focus. Still got to finish this lap. Bring it home. One last corner. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Good win number two. Good race, guys. All right. We're on the podium. Thanks, Good Colton. drive. Chicken flag. Chicken probably flag. pretty boring for him up there, but. Good job. Very good job. That's because he was fast and he executed it, so it was a good win. We got number two. Silver medal. Still pretty shiny. I will take it. And I guess I'll do a final cup of corners here until it's uh, officially race over. Well, the race is over, but you know. Race session. Technically not over. So we'll get some free. Free corners. Counting towards safety. And that will be it. Pull over right here. See me, right? Over here on the side. Okay. Sure he's not gonna rear-end me. Alright, that was great! I didn't crash! This guy did. Oh my. <laughs> he did a lot. In fact, pretty much everyone got into trouble except for the top three guys. Some sort of trouble. I mean to find trouble. I mean, these guys could have just had a couple of off tracks and didn't really do anything, but I'm happy. I'm very happy. I thought for sure I'd make at least one mistake, but we kept it on the track and had a fun time. Such a fun car. I really enjoy it. So, incidents. Turn one. Not how you execute that. Okay, interesting. So now we get a view of whatever this was. So he goes off into the sand, loses all his momentum. That's kind of an ugly block. I'm going to be honest with you, man. It's lap one. You just made a mistake. You're really going to block like that? And then the guy didn't even actually hit you. Like, it was, first of all, netcode, because he's from Japan, and you are from Brazil. Those are very different places in the world. And so it was close, but I don't think he even really touched him. Even if he did, that's an ugly block. You kind of deserve it. But he knocks him off course. I was worried that he was going to bounce off. I'm always extra cautious and leave way more room than I need to. He did bounce off pretty good, though. Almost back on track, but I just take it easy, get around him. Everything's all good. Meanwhile, lap two, turn one, gets this guy. He was, like, spinning that whole corner. Oh, is he stuck? Oh, I didn't even know that was possible. That stinks. So he's stuck, like, on the... <laughs> The surface, he's somehow got... Oh, it's like a, it's a little bit hilly right there. Oh, man, that stinks. That ruins his race. He might have been able to recover a little bit from that spin, but if you have to tow, that's... That's rough. Here we got a spin out of the final corner. This is why I was taking it so wide, because I feel like you're more likely to spin if you kind of turn the wheel a little harder. On the inside right there. So whenever I take it, I usually do my braking out wider and turn in much later to help try to prevent that. So this is interesting. 
I think the number three was hounding this guy on purpose and not intentionally wrecking him, but like making him nervous on purpose. Kind of just driving around him for a while because he was mad at him. That's what I'm thinking is going on here. Like, let's see what happens here. So he goes off and almost crashes. And he easily could go around right now. But he decides to do, like, that weird swifty move. I think he's intentionally just being near him, threatening him. And eventually, maybe the nerves got to him. So he does eventually spin out later. I forget what turn it was in, but the next lap. Yeah, it's next lap here. I don't know, maybe he felt like it was the pressure that gave him that spin. I'm right behind it. I see it happen. A little worried he wouldn't hold his brakes or something and roll across the track, so I gave him all kinds of room. But that's how we got uh, into P2. And what's he do here? He turns it. It's going again. Um, you can't really blame him on that one, though. That looks like the exact same thing that just happened, except you don't have the guy as an excuse. <laughs> so maybe he was going to do that anyway. The person's spinning out. The wheel turned hard to make that turn. An example of why I prefer to take a little wider entry. This is the same guy that did it earlier, too, doing the same thing. Alright. For some reason, whenever I saw this later, I thought it was the other way around. This guy running into this guy. But no. He just decides that hounding him wasn't enough, so he's just going to plow into him. For uh, something that was a result of his stupid blocking in the first place. So, that's cool. And by cool, I mean not. I mean, because of your little petty squabble. Like, you don't know where these cars are going to end up. You don't know if you're going to crash and be blocking the road and then leave me nowhere to go. Because you just wanted to have a little tantrum. Like, that's pretty garbage. Honestly. And that's the last thing that happened in the race. So other than that, it was really not that bad of a race overall. Um, for us, it definitely was pretty good. We got ourselves a P2. Uh, we didn't really have anything for the number two. Unfortunately, they drove away, but I uh, can't say we had horrible pace. We got plenty of distance from guys, and the free took himself out and then had a rage about it. So they weren't really a factor, even though they were potentially going to be faster than us. But who knows? They uh, took themselves out of the race, blocking on lap one, I guess. But that's going to do it for the USF 2000 at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, if you want to say the whole mouthful name. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I had, a, I had a lot of fun. Like I said, enjoy the car and the track. So turns out the combo is pretty fun, too. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you next time.